but I want to kind of know what you think. So, uh, why do we learn math? You have to have math to get a job. So how much how much uh, math do you need to just you know dig a ditch where they tell you? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> you need a lot of math to dig a ditch where they tell you. Wow. How right. deep? How wide? Well, I understand how deep and how wide, but if you're told, can't you just do it? You, you're not the engineer, right? The engineer needs to know math. You just need to dig the ditch. Is that not true? So does every job need math? Yeah. Yeah. No! No? I have, you know, this is another day I have not used algebra, is what the main saying is. So, <laughs> so most people don't use math at all. You're full of crap. You just were listening to those other teachers that told you that math was important. Full crap on that. Okay? Why do you do math? That was a good answer, though. I liked it. That was a good core, you know, trying to kiss up to the teacher, get an A. Full crap. Right. So, good try on that, but no. All right. So, <laughs> so why else do we learn math? Why do you think we learn math? I mean, that's what everybody kind of says, right? Well, you need it for some jobs, you need it to... That isn't really why we learn math. Does anybody know why we learn math? Got another guess. Besides jobs and that sort of stuff. Do taxes. Do taxes. So everybody's going to have to do taxes. So why don't I just teach you how to do taxes and then we're done? Okay. Just to learn it. Nice. Sounds fair enough. And by the way, when you do taxes, you just buy like a program that walks you through each thing and you just punch in the number. So you really don't have to do any math and taxes either. You used to, back in the day, but hey, you don't even do paper taxes anymore. So you don't have to have math for that. Good guess, though. Good answer. Any other reasons why we might do math? Finding numbers. Finding them? Yeah. Or are they hidden? In your brain somewhere. <laughs> why, why are they hidden? I mean, who hit the numbers? I mean, come on, let's, let's be out in the open. I mean, I know we're wearing masks, but I don't know that numbers wear masks. I mean, come on. I don't know that's right. They don't want the COVID. They don't want the COVID, so they mask up, you know? Two, three hides behind two. It's kind of weird. No, that isn't why. Why did we learn that? Any other guesses? Wait, what's your name? Nick. Nick, why do you think you learned math? You don't know why you learned math. No. Do you even know why you're here? Yes. My mom made my parents force me. Your parents what? Forced me to be here. Forced you to be here? Yeah. Oh, so where else are you going to be? I don't know. In their basement playing video games? Yes. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> Seriously though, now you're here like with everybody. That's a lot better than just sitting at home on a video game. Oh no. no. Hey, no. hey, hey. I can still be sleeping. Yeah, yeah. I, I could be, be working. I have to go to work. So I let's let's get this bad. straight then. So math is an important. Sleeping is important. Fishing. Yes. And fishing. Yeah, video yeah, games. Fishing. And fishing. That's the important. And hunting. That's the important things. That's the only thing. So yeah. why do we do math? We gotta price out your bait. <laughs> you gotta price out your bullets. You gotta price things out. Is that why we learn math? Why don't I just teach you how to price things out? Then? Yeah, I think we can do that easy. Yeah. How to do percents off? Checkbooks. That's all they should be able to do. Checkbooks. Why don't we just teach you that stuff? I don't know. I'm fine with that stuff instead of doing math. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's part of math. But why do we do more than that? Anybody know? This is the key to math, and this is what you've never been taught, and it's scary because you should have. Wait, wait, can I try before you Yeah. Because it teaches us critical thinking skills. That's pretty true, but that sounds like it's coming from a teacher. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> that is true, but how do we say that in regular terms? She said it teaches us critical thinking terms. Or critical thinking, what'd she say? Skills. Skills, okay. So what does that mean? You can't answer, you're the aide. Yes. You're an overachiever. No, that's not what it means. <laughs> <laughs> See, Chris, at least you're an overachiever, so you got that going for you. So, uh, what does it mean to have critical thinking skills? And why, why does math teach us that? So she's on the right track. So think about that for a second. Critical thinking skills. What does math do that would instill critical thinking skills? What's your name? Doug, uh, what's your name? Doug Moore. What's your first name? Logan. Logan. What do you think? Why would math teach us little critical thinking skills? I have no idea. 
No idea. Okay, that's pretty close to true there. So, uh, Mackenzie, what do you think? What does math teach us that would teach us critical thinking skills? <laughs> okay, let's think about this for a second. Can you do this? Nope. No, too hard. X minus three equals five. Solve for X. Two. 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 Oh wait. Oh. <laughs> eight, 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 eight minus three equals All of a sudden, you've already messed up, and it was the very first problem on the board. <laughs> okay, this is why though, there's some critical thinking skills here, because the answer might be two. How in the heck did you guys get two? Eight. Five know. minus three is? Eight. Two. two. But you need to what? Who said you add it? Somebody over here. Who said that? What's your name? Addie. Addie said you need to add it. And you know why she said that? Because her name is Addie. That was oh, funny. That was funny. That was funny. Okay, so Addie says we should add three. Now, how come she knew to do that? It's not common sense because if it was common sense, I, somebody wouldn't have said two. <laughs> so it's not common sense. Or somebody wouldn't have said two. So it's not common sense. It's actually a critical thinking skill. It's actually a process. So why in the heck, Addie, did you add three to five when I have a subtraction sign right there? Because what minus three equals five. What minus three equals five. So that's one way to think about it. And then you just kind of just what we call plug and chug, or you call it just <laughs> plug in some numbers until you figure it out, and you're just like, all right, let's see, something minus three is five. What is eight. that? Uh, eight, 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 okay. right? You can do it that way on this problem, but is this gonna get more complicated? Yeah. yeah sure. Yes, so we probably ought to learn a what? A process, okay? And this is why we learn math, because our mind, needs to work through a process, okay? Take out a piece of paper. Take out a piece of paper. So the process, by the way, was just add three, add three. How can we do that? Really, because we want this to be a zero. So we have x plus zero equals eight. And then we know that anything added to zero is itself, so we know x is eight. This is called an identity, this is called an inverse. We have all these properties of math that actually work in our brain and make us kind of think through this. But it's all about a process. So here's what I want you to do. Okay? And this is only because, what's your name? Gavin. 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 Close enough. What did he say? Gannon. Gannon. With an N. Gannon. Like Terry Gannon. The Close enough. Is Don't it G-A-N-N-O-N? Okay, so yeah, like Terry Gannon, so. All right, so he was a quarterback for the 49ers for a while. Just saying. Okay, so, <laughs> post Kaepernick. So, there you go. So anyway, here's what I want you to do. Gannon said the worst thing about school is having to get up in the morning, right? Oh my God. Okay, so, here's what I want you to work through. The time you woke up until Right now. Oh crap. Write down I didn't know if I'm gonna up. the process that you went through to get to this point in your life right now from the time you woke up. Well what time is it? <laughs> All right. So so think about it. What happened first? Woke up. I woke up. Okay, so you have to put that. That should be everybody's number one. I opened my eyes and I woke up. Right? That should be your number one. Everybody did that. So no, you, st when I wake up. you still, though, everyone had to open their eyes to wake up, right? So that's the first thing. But then after that, you walk me through the process. Okay, hurry, write it down. I'll give you about one minute. So you have one minute. Wait, I need somebody to time me. One minute. You got me? I don't have it. I didn't bring my phone again. Uh-oh. I have it. I have to wake up. Okay, Crest has got us. Okay. One minute. You gotta hurry, because you've only got a minute. Think about what you did, though. I want the whole process. Don't leave out any steps. Okay, what happened from the time you woke up until this moment right here? Ten seconds. 
Okay, here we go. Uh, Seth. What? I don't even know where he is. <laughs> All right. Seth, what did you have number two? Took a shower. Took a shower. Wait, did you get out of bed? Oh, no. You just took a shower in bed. Yeah. You are a weird dude. I am a weird dude. Okay. Can you see the problem with his critical thinking process? He skipped like a bunch of steps there. He went straight from opening his eyes and waking up straight to a shower, never left bed. Yeah. Or do you sleep in the tub? Because <laughs> that, okay, that, okay, I'm going to give you that if you sleep in the tub. Otherwise, you better have a different step in there. Can you see where we're missing things here? All right. Okay, we're going to try somebody else. Let's try uh, Cannon. Who's Cannon? Canyon. Canyon. Who's Canyon? <laughs> canyon doesn't exist? No. You're Canyon. All right. What did you put for number two? Uh, I woke up and got dressed. You got dressed? We don't have chance. Did hey. you get out of bed? Uh, no. You got dressed in bed? Yeah. That's pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> Who put got out of bed? That's no there. See, this is why Addie knows how to act. <laughs> okay, because she got out of bed. All the rest of you guys apparently got dressed or took a shower right in bed. You never left. The bed came with you. The bed came with you. It's like attached to you, and you're just or you sleep in the tub, which okay, you got me. Okay. That that one you got me. Or you know that that could happen. Can you see though why a process we don't think critically very often about getting out of bed and getting to school. Can you see that there's probably holes in your thing now? No. How many of you put you watch the video? No. I didn't even get that far. Ah, you didn't get that. That's good though, because that means you were actually thinking about what you did. But most of us don't do that. So when we do math, it's actually to get our brain to think that critically, to think in a process that we move through. Okay. Now that's how the number system works, which is the first thing we're going to start with, which is the number system. So on the back of that paper, just flip it over. Um, and by the way, you should have a notebook for this class because you know what's going to happen with this paper? He's going to lose it in about two seconds. Okay, so I lose my notebook too. Seth, uh, trust me, a notebook is a lot more likely to stay with you longer than that piece of paper. So try not to rip things out of your notebook unless I tell you to turn it in. Okay, try to keep things in a notebook because you can use your notes on the test, and that's going to be important. Okay. So let's start from the very basic. So this was a little basic equation just to make you think about what you're really doing. But let's start with the most basic of all things, which is the real number system. So we're going to put that at the top of your page. The real number system. Okay, real number system. How many of you think you know the real number system? So how many of you were in Babylon in about, uh, I don't know, like, uh, 1800 BC. Sure, why not? Oh, you were there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what happened? I don't remember. It was too long ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, it happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, in a whole other life. Yeah, you know, reincarnation. I understand that. All right. So, how many of you remember when you were born? Okay. How many of you remember when you were a little kid, and your dad, even though he's not supposed to, we found that out later. But too bad for you guys. All right, he's got you right here in his arms, right? Everybody remember this? No, well, your dad might have dropped you. There, there is that again. But most dads tried not to drop you. What's your name? Braley, your dad didn't drop you, right? Okay, we're good. Okay, so Braley says she's good. So Braley remembers, right? Braley, you're in your dad's arm right here. He's got you held out here. You're so cute. All right, so I don't know why we talk that way to babies, but we do. I don't know why. All right, so you're so cute, all of a sudden, what do we do? What does he do? He's going to throw you in the air and then catch you, right? Just a little tiny throw. Some of you were thrown a little bit too high and dropped too far. But, but most of you, it was just a little tiny throw and he caught you, right? But he's getting ready to throw you. What does he say? He does! See? See? 
the rest of you may be brain dead, but not this guy. Danny can remember when he was like little. No. <laughs> then how did you know? Okay, there you go. We do it all. So how do we naturally count? We do. We don't start with zero. Have you ever noticed that? Except math teachers, we're kind of weird. I did start with zero with my kids, but it was just to help them out. So anyway, we start with what's called, this is what you want to put. Hey, by the way, we're going to do concentric circles. What's that? <laughs> I knew I'd get a question. Dan, have you ever shot at a target? Yeah. yeah. Well, obviously. Okay, that's concentric circles. No, I just a circle. Oh, well, no, it's concentric circles. So what is a target? Think about that. A circle within a circle. A circle within a circle. A circle within a circle. Within a circle. So that's what we're going to draw as we do this. So put the end where? Ah, very good. Dan I'm telling you, Danny was not dropped on his head. All right? Indeed. He was dropped on his carcass, maybe, but not on his head. So, so, so we have M for natural, okay? Natural numbers. And how, where do the natural numbers start? Where do we naturally start counting? One. 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 Okay. One, two, three. The Babylonians actually figured this out. They started counting. It was very simple. They started counting their chickens or whatever. They started counting one, two, the kids, you know, one, two, whatever. They just started counting. It's very natural for us to do this. These are called the natural numbers. Some people call these the counting numbers, but we're going to call them the natural numbers. Okay? Counting goes All to right. five, doesn't it? We're going to put that in the inside circle. It's inside the circle of trust. Anything outside the circle of trust is not trustworthy. We want to be the best. I want to get inside the circle of trust. All right. So this is the natural numbers. What do you think comes next? Four, four, five, eight, seven, eight. You would, yeah, that continues, and that's why, what should we put after this three, actually? Dot, dot, dot. Bigger dot, dot, dot. Okay? We're just going to put three little dots, Johnny, because it continues. Four, five, six, we can just keep going forever, right? Exactly. Okay. So that is what we call our natural numbers, our counting numbers. Now what happens? Five, ten. So something isn't natural. Are there numbers, so this is what I want you to think about, this critical thinking, right? Are there number, numbers that aren't natural? Yeah. Okay. Name one. Zero. Zero. Okay. Z See, this is why Addy seriously is pretty smart. You should probably should get out of here, Addy, while you're ahead. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So, zero is the next one. Okay. Hmm. How did they come up with zero? It's actually, think about what zero is. What does it mean? Nothing. 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 It doesn't mean anything? No. It does. Means there isn't any. It's a number, but there's nothing there. Now think about this. Zero does mean something. It doesn't mean nothing. It means that there is nothing there. Yeah, it's nothing. It's not nothing. It means there is nothing there. Wait, you're confusing me now. No, I'm not. Think about it. Zero doesn't mean nothing. So yeah, there's nothing there. Ah, but there was something there, or we could take something away from what is there. Therefore, what? There is nothing there, but it is not nothing. It means there is nothing there. Are you with me on that? No. So, no. yeah, watch, watch. How many papers do I have? One. one. Now how many papers do I have? One. It's on the chair. Marker. I have one. I have zero. I don't have anything, but I have a potential for having anything. How many pencils do I have? One. Now, how many pencils do I have? None. None. How come? Because I don't have any. So now, 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 how many pencils do I have? Oh, that was illegal with COVID. Ignore that. Okay. So, <laughs> so what? How many pencils do I have now? I actually have negative one. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Does the marker count as a pencil, though? No, it's not. It's a marker. Don't you know the difference? Okay. So, <laughs> so what did I? Take it again. That side, because we got to be COVID, okay? So, uh, how many pencils do I have now? I have negative one. Now, many, now how many pencils do how I have? Do have one. One. None. Now how many pencils do I have? Negative How come? Because you get one. Jeez, right? you got to go, go get saying? your pencil stolen. So, all of a sudden, we start going from a little bit different. Now, these are called, we're going to start at zero, because that's the next number, and then we're just going to keep going just with the natural numbers, and that's why we're doing concentric circles. 
Okay, these are called what numbers? Whole numbers. Whole numbers. And I, if you notice how I wrote whole, it's to remind you that the whole numbers really start with what? Zero. zero. So if you make a big zero, right, then whole numbers start with zero. So these are called whole numbers. Okay, whole numbers. And uh, whole numbers start with zero, and then they just continue to count. This is why we're doing concentric circles, by the way. Are all natural numbers, think about this before you answer, are all natural numbers whole numbers? No. Gerd, what's your name? Griffin. Griffin. Are all natural numbers whole numbers? No. Which one is it? Ah, they actually all are. Are all natural numbers whole numbers? Not negatives. Ah, but negatives are not what? Natural. How many of you did your dad say negative one, two, negative two, negative three? I mean, that doesn't happen. That's not natural. Okay, so no. And then they dropped you on the floor because that was negative. They did that as you were falling. Yeah, I mean, as you were falling. They go, one, two, three, negative three, two, one, negative two. No, they didn't do that. So, so yeah, we got whole numbers. Whole numbers don't include anything negative yet, okay? And so all natural numbers are what? Whole, num whole, whole numbers. numbers. Everybody needs to maybe write that outside. All natural numbers, or yes, all natural numbers are what? Whole numbers. That's why we're doing concentric circles. Are all of them included in the whole numbers? Yes. Yes, that's why I include them. That's why I'm doing concentric circles. Now. Are all whole numbers, Griffin, this is the key question, get your brain working up here, okay? Are all whole numbers natural? No. No, which one is it? Zero. Zero, right? Zero is whole, but it's not what? Natural. natural. Everybody with me on that? So that's why it's on the outside of the circle, because this number is in this circle, but it's not in the inside circle. Are you with me on that? That's why we're doing concentric circles. Okay, so we have whole numbers, natural numbers. Now, we've already kind of discussed it when I gave him the pencil. What comes next? Negative. Negative numbers, right? Okay, what do we call them? Negative. Anybody know what we call the negative numbers? Negative numbers. Student numbers. <laughs> Integers. Integers. Very good. Integers. See, you do know the real number system. You just hadn't thought of it before, so. These are called integers. Hey, Kate, can you look up for me the letters that they use for these? Negatives. And so these are the integers. And can negatives go forever in a negative direction? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So I'm going to put dot, dot, dot to start, comma, and then I'm just going to go negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, dot, dot, dot. Okay. And these are the integers. Now, by the way, our life wouldn't be that hard if we did this. And by the way, why did we start, why did we start having negative integers? We had debt. People owed you something, right? So if you think about that, that's what negative integers really represented in the old days. You know, here I'm going to give you a dozen eggs, and you're going to bring me a couple bricks for those dozen eggs. But you don't have the bricks made yet. You're going to bring them to me later. So, so far, you're negative two bricks in the hole. Because when you make the bricks, you owe me two bricks for the dozen eggs. Are you with me on that? And so people started thinking about, well, we have to have negative values to compensate for the positive values when people owe people stuff, okay? So that's how we came up with this number system. So far, this number system was pretty easy. You think you'd have too much trouble with positive and negative numbers and oh, integers? Yeah. And you start having problems right here, right? Negative numbers start to bring in problems because of that last problem. Did you notice that when we had the little easy problem and people yelled out two? How did they get two? They subtracted when they should have what? Added. So even subtraction starts bringing in some problems in math, right? Some issues. Okay, now how about the next one? What's the next one? What's the next type of number? What type of numbers don't we have listed? Half numbers. Like there you go. Yeah, yeah, good job. So he says half numbers. What are those called? Uh, fractions time. and what other types? Decimals. decimals. Fractions yeah. and decimals. Does anybody remember what those are called? Percent. We call these rational numbers. Rational. This is Z. W. N for natural. And then rational. Q. Okay. So those are the letters that they use 
to identify them. I have no idea why the Z and why the Q. I guess it's into jazz. Five minutes. No, no. We only have five minutes left? Yeah. That was a fast class. I had a fast class. All right. We, we like those. So, so we're going to put stuff like that. We're going to write fractions and decimals. All decimals? No. 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 Which ones? Half. Point Anything five. that would be written as a fraction. Five. Tell me what this is. Zero. Anything but zero. Be Tell me what one fourth is as a decimal. Zero point four. Nope. Zero point two. Zero point two. Zero point two. Zero point two. Point two five. Point four. Thank you. What's your name? Logan. Logan. So Why is it point two five? Because it's a quarter. Of it's a quarter. How much is a quarter worth? Forty-five. All right. So point two five. Okay. Now let me ask you this. This is trickier. One third. What's the decimal? Fifteen. What is it, Logan? Point three 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 repeating. Right. So this one repeats. We go point three three three, and I can put a line over it, and that says it repeats. By the way, these are the type of decimals, ones that can be written as fractions, that are rational. So we call these terminating numbers. By the way, I watched the new Terminator, and it's horrible. OK, so unlike the old ones, we're better. You have two old people sitting there trying to talk in a movie. I'm like, hello. Just no. OK, so terminating decimals and repeating decimals. So those are the type that are actually the decimals we're talking about. And they can actually be written as what? Fractions. See, these type of decimals can always be written as a fraction. Okay. So these are included in this. By the way, are all integers rational? Yes. Yes, I can write these as a fraction. How do I do it? Two. Negative two over? Ten. One. Very good. Any of these over one is simply a fraction, and so therefore it's rational. You see what I'm saying? That's why we're doing concentric circles. Every integer is rational. Every whole number is an integer. Every natural number is a whole number. Every natural number is a rational number. You with me on that? Yeah. All of them are included. Okay. Now there's some things that aren't included, so we're going to draw it out to the side here. If these are called rational, what do you think these are called? Irrational. Irrational. What are, what's the letter for irrational, Kate? I think it's an I. Pretty sure it's an I. R was rational. Q is rational. And I'll tell you why. I know why these are Z and Q, by the way. I'll explain that. Because look, we have inter irrational and integers. And this is irrational will be an I. Or a P. Sometimes you're going to see an I, though. I've seen it before. So irrational is an I or a P. And then that's why the integers is a Z. You with me on that? Because they both have I's. And what are irrational numbers then? Give me some. These are ones that would be decimals that don't repeat or terminate. So it's like a... Um... What? Pi. Pi. Apple or chocolate? Apple or pie. Pumpkin. Mathematical. Hey, who said pumpkin? Huh? Pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we got pi. Okay, we're going to just drop. How did, it, how, how did pi ever come about? Somebody was a basic. A name? How did they, how did they even come up with 3.1417539? By the way, I had, a, I had a teacher in college, and he actually like had wallpaper in his office. Now, the office was only like that big, like those three rows right there in a square. So he had a little office in college, and his whole office was like seriously wallpapered in pi. <laughs> Mac jokes. Yeah. So, but he had 3.1417159. It never repeated and it never what? Terminated. Terminated. So, how did we come up with it in the first place? We took the circumference of a circle, which is all the way around it, and divided by the what? Diameter. And it doesn't matter, that ratio. Because if the circle gets bigger around, it will also get what? Wider, right? right? But that ratio, when you divide them, the circumference divided by the diameter, you get what? Pi. You get pi. And that ends up being an irrational number. It doesn't terminate. It doesn't repeat. Here's another one. Make a little square here. One, 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 right? Simple square. How far is that? 
or a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Hint. You're pretty close, Addy. Addy said what? Two. It's not two, but it's close. One. It's the square root of what? Two. two. No. Four. Take your phone out and tell me what the square root of two is. Or a calculator if you have. My phone's not that far. Yeah, you do. You all have calculators on your phones. You just haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> so, what's the square root of two? Anyone got it yet? Or a calculator? Anybody got a calculator? By the way, it'd be nice if you had just a little tiny calculator, by the way, for this class. Just a little TI-30. Okay, we have a few available, but yeah, one like that. So just punch in square root of two for me on that. Anybody got it yet? Tell me what square root of 2 is. 1.41421356. Did it repeat or terminate? The only reason it terminates is because your, your phone runs out of spikes, right? But really, that never repeats and never what? Terminates. Terminates. And so square root of anything but never terminates. perfect squares are going to be irrational. Square roots of anything but perfect squares are going to be irrational. What are perfect squares? Odd. Four, nine, tell me the next one. Eighteen. Close. Sixteen. 16. Four, nine, sixteen. What's next? Thirty. What's next? Four, nine, sixteen. What's next? Thirty-two. Eighteen. Thirty-two. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. How did I get four? Divided. Divided by two? Times? Is two, three times three. four. Say that again. Two, What's your name? Logan. Logan. Sorry, it's Logan. Logan. Yeah. Okay. So Logan says we did two times two is four. Three times three is nine. Four times four is sixteen. Five times five is twenty-five. All those numbers: four, nine, sixteen, twenty-five, thirty-six. Keep going. You can keep going. Those are called what? Perfect squares. If I do the square root of that, what's it going to be? It's a natural number. You see what I mean? So it actually fits over here in this rational category. But the ones that don't, that aren't perfect squares, they will always be irrational. Okay? Now, this whole thing is called what? Real number system.